All right, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eileen and that is my anxiety who doesn't have a name because names have power. And this is our night routine to try to keep us somewhat sane. So we're starting off by doing our skincare and brushing our teeth and all that fun stuff, you know, just like the normal night routine, the self-care. And I'll take off my makeup if I'm wearing any, but usually I'm not. Um, today I was. And then I'll go on and do um, the best parts of washing your face, which is lathering up the soap on your face. It just feels so nice and bubbly. And I'll use this like toner, I think, and moisturizer from Clinique. I don't really know what they do exactly, but they came in a set. And then I will change into comfy clothes because it is definitely time to go to sleep. And I'll take off my rings, which is literally like the best feeling ever. Like, that's like my favorite piece of jewelry to take off. And then I'll go ahead and take off my necklace that had an amethyst stone on it, which is for like relaxation. And I'll put my dog on the bed because she's needy. And then I'll spend an embarrassing amount of time picking out my outfit for the next day. And then I will lay out everything down to the socks and shoes because in the morning it's just so hard to get up and like so hard to make myself do things. So if I can be as prepared as I possibly can in the night, then it just makes my whole morning so much better. And then I have a very important step in my night routine and it's where I make my bed and put on this blanket that I don't let touch my bed during the daytime because my cat will get on it and she'll scratch it all up. It says the future is bright on it, which is like a big mantra. I repeat that to myself in the morning and in the night because it kind of just helps me like stay centered and grounded. And it's time to do two more things before we actually go to sleep. We're going to journal. Journaling has really helped me. I try to make it a priority when I'm feeling slightly worse off than normal. And yeah, here I'm just like emptying out my thoughts basically and like doing whatever I want. And then I will read a book that I know will make me feel good when I'm done reading it. And that is a very important caveat because sometimes you'll read a book that's like, ooh, that was really heavy and now it's time to go off to bed. Um, but here I'm reading You Will Get Through This Night by Daniel Howell, which is a book all about mental health. And so I knew it would be very good to read before I sleep. But then my cat is over there doing her night routine too. <laughs> and then I'll put up my hair because I hate having it on my face to sleep. And I'll just quickly like scroll through some social media, which isn't the best to do, but I try to like stay off TikTok and stuff. It's more like Tumblr and nerd stuff. And then I will create my nest. I'll get under all my covers and get my bear and try to go to sleep. And I'll usually fall asleep watching ASMR or my favorite YouTubers, Dan and Phil, because I just want to like sleep to something that's comforting and fun and something that'll make me smile. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this gave you some sort of inspiration for your mental health night routine. Basically, my main goal when I'm doing this is to just do things that I love and do things that sort of prepare me well for the next day. So anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!